Let's calculate the mean first. So the mean, which we're now going to denote as x bar, x with a, uh, a line above it, is if I add these numbers up and divide by how many there are. So if I add all these numbers up, I get 30, and there are five numbers, so my mean is 6. Now, to work out a standard deviation of the following data set, I'm going to have to draw up a table. My first column, I just put the values I've got. So I've got 3, 4, 5, 7, 11. In the next column, what I do is I take away the mean from all of them. So 3 take away the mean uh, of 6. So 3 take away 6 is minus 3. 4 take away 6 is negative 2. 5 take away the mean of 6 is negative 1. 7 take away 6 is 1. And 11 take away 6 is 5. Now, if you're doing this, this right, these answers should add up, add up to 0. So negative 3, add negative 2, add negative 1 is negative 6. 1 and 5 is 6. So 6 and negative 6 is 0. So I am on the right lines. Now, the last column, what we do is we square the numbers we've just had. So square the previous column. So negative 3 squared is going to become 9. Negative 2 squared is going to become 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 squared is 1. 5 is 25. Now, what we did this for is to work out something called the sum. That's the symbol for sum of x minus x bar, or mean squared. So, so now I'm going to add up that last column. That's what it's asking me to do. Just add up this last column. So 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 25 is 40. So this here is 40. Now, the standard deviation formula, standard deviation you are given in your uh, formula sheet, is the square root of the sum of the x minus x bar all squared over n minus 1, where n is the number of data, sets you have, data points you have. So for this one here, if I put that in, well, the top line, the sum of x minus x bar all squared, is 40. That's what we've just used the table to do. n minus 1, well, I have five terms. So n minus 1, take 1 off that, be 4. So I'm looking to do the square root of 10 to be my standard deviation. Let's do that on my calculator. And I'd get 3.16. Right, here's the second question. So first, let's work out the mean of this data. So that's going to be x bar, remember. Uh, I add them up, so 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6. If I add them up, we get 14. There's four data points, so 14 over 4. That gives me a mean of 3.5. So to work out the standard deviation, I first, in my table, have the column of the data. We're given 1, 4, 3, 6. Then I take away from each of these the mean, so that's 3.5. So 1 take away 3.5 is negative 2.5. 4 take away 3.5 is positive 0 0.5. 3 take away negative 3. Point, uh, 3 take away 3.5 is negative 0 0.5. And 6 take away 3.5 is 2.5. Now, check if I'm on the right lines. These should add up to 0. Well, as you can see, I've got a negative 2.5 and a positive 1, and a negative 0 0.5 and a positive 1. So yes, I'm on the right lines. Last column, I now square those numbers. Remember, I'll probably use a calculator for this one. Negative 2.5 all squared is 6.25. 0 0.5 squared is 0 0.25, as is negative 0 0.5. And 2.5 is 6.25. Now I want to add up this column and I get 13. Now to work out the standard deviation, remember the formula, and we'd always state the formula first, is the sum of x minus x bar, all squared, over the number of data points minus one. So for this question, we've got the sum of the x, x minus x um, bar, all squared, is 13, over the number of data points is four, take away one. So I'm left with the square root of 13 over 3, which as a decimal is 2.08.